breaking news, my country people. He don't read though. He don't read for the Emilio Khan supporters. They don't know. Say this hunger and this hardship don't reach their turn. Now they are turned to enjoy a more. So we read on to say this Emilio Khan supporters. Where they go around, they shout say Natini Buton. Now we don't reach their turn to experience this hunger and this hardship where people they face for this country. Guys, this is quite interesting. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, Omoyele Soware, who is a human rights activist and a convener of the revolution, now has stated that the supporters of President Bola Tinibu during the 2023 general elections, known by the Yoruba slogan, Emi Loko, have now realized it was their time to experience hunger and hardship. So I spoke with newsmen after the trumped up trial um, at the Federal High Court in Abuja on Thursday, brought against him by the Nigerian government for leading a revolutionary protest in 2019. The government later discussed continued the case on Friday morning and it was struck out and in 2019 and 20 that's the 2019 and 2023 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress ACC noted that as he predicted many Nigerians would join his call for a revolution when it became difficult for an average citizen to feed which was exactly what citizens we are experiencing as a result of the Tinibu's government's disastrous policies. And at this point, Soare noted how good, you know, that Nigerians are beginning to see the effect of Tinibu's policy. It means that revolution is drawing closer. It means that people are running towards a revolution. And there is always a chance that a revolution will happen because a lot of things have happened and the last trigger is always hunger. We know that a hungry man is an angry man. And when the people are hungry, they are angry. So a hungry man is a revolutionary. Nigerians have been taken for granted. They've been battered. People have been destroyed. Businesses are leaving the country once again. People cannot afford to feed anymore, even if they want to. Insecurity everywhere, kidnapping in every corner. And the currency of our country is not what bragging about. We also won in this court when people were saying that Buhari has left that. Emilio Khan would be worse than Buhari. That is Tinibu. And it has also come to pass. Tinibu does not care about anybody but himself. Tinibu does not care any about anybody except himself, his criminal colleagues, his board members, and also his family members who are running the country, Nigeria PLC. They have done everything to destroy this economy. They have done everything to break an average Nigerian. And those who are saying eh, that it is our turn, well, what is their turn now is suffering. What is their turn now is hunger, starvation, sorrow, and you know, a very bloody lifestyle that is intolerable. Yeah, the revolution that they've been running for is now. It is at their doorsteps. It is knocking at their doorsteps. And there is nothing they can do about it. There is nothing they can do to stop this revolution that is coming. That is coming to, you know, this uh, this country. So my country people, Omoye Lesoware have noted how the people are angry. The people are hungry. Especially the Emi local supporters. It's obvious they are the ones crying the most about the sufferings and hardship now. They claimed it was their turn. Now they should enjoy these sufferings. They should enjoy this hardship because they brought it upon themselves. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? This town hall is different from Baba Blue. A lot has happened ever since Tinibu came into power. And most of his supporters can attestify to it that life has become extremely difficult for them. Yes, my country people, when you go on the social media, you see a lot of people protesting, going to their traditional ruler's palace to protest, calling out the governor of their state to protest, calling out the name of Tinibu saying hungry is killing them, hunger here and there. Tinibu went to Lagos. 
last year during uh, uh, Chris, the Christmas uh, uh, season. And he was greeted by We Are Hungry, by the people of Lagos, the same Lagos he claimed to have, uh, to have raised, to have built. And these are the people that complained, We Are Hungry. And it was more like a national anthem. And Tinibu was waving to the crowds, and people were saying, Baba, we are hungry. Baba, we are hungry. This is not the kind of thing that, you know, Nigerians anticipated for, but at this point, it seems that Tinibu's supporters that claim to have, you know, wanting to stand on Tinibu's mandate, they are already tired. This mandate that they are standing on, I am sure that they are already tired of this mandate. Because person will never chop, no fee stand on top mandate. And as they be like this, so hunger day everywhere. So my country people... You know, during the campaign seasons, a lot of things happened, most especially in Lagos, you know, where Yoruba people were threatening other regions, stating how if they don't vote for the APC, they shouldn't come out voting. And those that voted for the candidate of their choice, aside the All Progressive Congress, were beaten, they were violated. There were a lot of violence on some certain tribes, most especially the Southeasterners in Lagos State. And now, at this point, now that the suffering has reached everybody, it is not only the Southeasterners that are suffering. Even the Lagos people, they are still suffering. Everybody in this country is suffering, except the rich. Well, so my country people, at this point, it now seems that uh, the Lagosians are the ones crying more than the Southeasterners. That is what I am seeing, my country people. The Southeasterners tend to distance themselves for many protests, for many complaints. They are even encouraging this government on social media, my country people. So this hunger did not spare anybody. And back then they were thinking, oh, when this government comes into power, they will enjoy. They will be feasting day and night. They will go to Tinibu and have access to him and who knows, party for morning tonight. But alas, my country people, it was a huge disappointment to them. Let's not forget Asari Dukubo that told Nigerians to hold him responsible if Tinibu does not perform well. Well, a lot of people have been calling out to Asari Dukubo that we should come and hold him responsible since he wants bragged and, and boasted and claimed that people should hold him responsible if Tinibu is not performing well. He was the first to cry out that this government is not what he anticipated for. So my country people, this suffering really touched everybody. That's the message that uh, Soware, you know, uh, tried to make, noting how the Emilokon supporters are the ones suffering and crying out. Guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.